When storage units are abandoned in the great state of Texas, the treasures within so are put up for auction. Here on. Right here. 1050. Yeah. Coming up. Gotta turn on the charm today. Gene's gonna try and charm us. It's looking good. Good luck. Maybe today we don't let her get a unit. Mary needs money to hire somebody. I've been doing everything myself. We need to score big today. Trash, Mo. Oh, my God. Trash. Doggy. You brought some good stuff today. This is one of our best-selling brands and one of the best in the business. Boom! What you gonna get while we do this, bub? Break out another thousand. I can turn the stuff from crap to cute. I see treasures. It's fabulous. You'll never believe what we find. Today we're in Waxahachie, Texas. Waxahachie, it just rolls off the lips, doesn't it? But our buyers aren't here to pay at lip service. They're here to bust some locks and buy some lockers. Waxahachie, here we come. Yeehaw! Mary, you're quiet. Let's cook it. I got a long mind. Okay. Just the shop. I've been doing everything myself. You saw it. It's a wreckage. So my shop isn't even a shop anymore. It's a studio, pretty much. I think maybe I just want storage wars attention deficit syndrome. <laughs> What can I do to help? Make some money so I can hire some help. All it's we just... need is a caretaker. Yeah. We need to score big today. Mary needs money to hire somebody, and I'm going to help her get it. You know, I haven't really experienced a losing streak like this in a while. It just didn't work out. I mean, the competition was heavy today. I don't know. I think Bubba's lucky hat brought me some bad luck. This is worth nothing. Call it karma. Call it bad luck. Uh, I, I'm not a loser. I, I don't experience losing streaks. So today what I'm going to do is I have to leave with a locker. We're obviously in Waxahachie today. This is the downtown square. Cute little antique stores, which means there could be antiques in these units. If I could just keep big and bigger away, this could be a good day. Gotta turn on the charm today. Bubba, Bubba. Hey, what's up? I like that shirt on you. Thank you. I don't know if I'm special or just in line. I got my eyes on this guy with the tuxedo shirt today. Sexy and I know it. So what if me and Bubba wore one? Gene's going to try and charm us? He's looking good. Good luck. I think that maybe today we don't let her get a unit. You've been a little bit too nice to her. Prove to me today that you're not getting soft. Can you do that? I'll try my best. <laughs> All right, ladies 
gentlemen, boys and girls, here are the rules for today's auction. We're going to open the door. You've got to have five minutes to look around. There'll be no reaching inside, no stepping inside, no touching any boxes. Please bid only with the money that you have in your pockets. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Let's go. Hammer up. Let's go. This uh, slippery chair. Oh, we're getting this. The first step towards hiring a helper is getting this locker. Oh, that's interesting. This locker's been put up in here for a long, long time. I see cobwebs and mid-century furniture. I'm buying. <laughs> There's a couple antique ways. There's some really amazing furniture in here. It's like we've got an entire set of coffee table, dining table, and chairs. This would be really cute once they're painted. I got a pocket full of money, and I'm going to spend it. This locker is mine. The only big score here is this tape. That refinish, really beautiful. I like it just how it is. This big table could be Mary's big ticket. I, I like this butcher block. I see the glass for all the tables, but the big glass is covered. If it's got one tiny little chip in it, that ruins the whole locker. The only way to stop a losing streak is to be a player. I'm in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about a 100? Got a 100, now 200. 150. 150, now 200. Right here. Got 200, now two and a half. Two and a half, now 300. There, now a half, now 350. Now 400. 400, now a half. 425. 425. 450, we're going to get 450 going once. 450 going twice. Yeah. 450, now 75. Crap. 75 and 500, would you get 500? Yeah. 500, now a quarter, now 525. Yeah. 525, now a half, would you get 550? Would you get 550 going once? 550 going twice? I sold it right here, $545, $545, ladies and gentlemen. All's fair in love and lockers. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. Good job. There's a gigantic desk back there. The rest of this just looks like trash. Damn you, Ricky and Bubba. God, I wanted the last locker, not this one. There's a desk back here. Wow, that thing's huge. Yeah. Isn't it? I think it might be a lawyer's desk. The drawers on both sides. There you go. It's $2,400. That's a lot of money for a desk. I hear everybody talking about a big desk, and all I see is a pile of garbage. Oh, my God. Piles and piles and piles, but I can't see over it. I think this is stuff that came out of his office. Yeah. We don't want it. We'll just make it harder for whoever does. Is that mean? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we don't want to get on 100. We're 100 there, now 200. Yeah! Now three, we get 350. 250, wish I'd have thought of that. Now three. Yeah! Now three and a half, now 350 there, now four. Fit them up and make them pay. That's how we roll. Yeah! Now four and a half. Now five. Five and a half. Yeah! I got it. Now six hundred. Now six fifty. Now seventy five. If she not quit yet, would have been six seventy five. Make her quit. Six seventy five. Now seven hundred. Now seven twenty five. Go eight hundred. Now seven twenty five. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. He don't want you back. Eight hundred. Now what do you give me? Eight again. Eight and a quarter. Eight. Eight. 
Ooh, that was the kick in hey, the man, teeth. I got 825 to 850. I got it. 875 going once. 875 going twice. So right here, $850. $850. Woo! Mo, does your wife know you're out playing auction? No, but you just called her, right? <laughs> so today, I was here at my truck and trailer. I planned on filling that trailer. And I completely struck out. I just didn't make it happen. Ricky and Bubba put the beat down on me. Whatever. Mary and I spent fourteen fifty on two lockers today, but I got a feeling we're gonna make it back in spades. These chairs are cool. There's a couple of them, you know. No, these are amazing. <laughs> That's a slipper chair. What do you say? It's made by Kroller, and it's known for its epic design. In my gallery, 375. Here's a lounge chair. Good lines. That's the original fabric, 475. This stuff looks pretty iffy. <laughs> I hope Mo's right, because I need cash. Okay, there's your mate to that chair. Oh, just a little school chair. I, I don't think you can get more than $50 a piece for him. Well, let's just pull it. Ugh, it's just hard to sell a sofa. Tell me. So your profit's not great. What the heck is that? What the heck? What the heck is that? What the heck? What is it? The dolls look porcelain. It's a little piano, though. It's so cute. Bailey Midget Piano. Piano. Patent 1884. Is that cool? I mean... It's cool, Mo, but, I mean... Oh, Mary. Whatever. You gotta appreciate the date. I want to get this checked out. I, I need to focus on big pieces, Mo. <laughs> Bye. Mary needs to learn. Small pieces can bring big money. Let's take what we want. Okay. Load the rest of the stuff up. I'm gonna put this in the front seat. Safe. Well, this is a good start, but I still need more money to hire a helper. So this second locker better be better. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. We gotta get through this trash. Get through the treasures now. If you get tired, you can use that as a chair. What? <laughs> oh, that's good. <clears throat> we gotta get through all this oh, trash. Look, we got our own trash tray. You want any snacks? No. In here? Trash, Mo. Okay. <sighs> This is a good wheelbarrow. This is 40 bucks. You want to go for a ride? Nah. We got to get to the goods, Mo. <sighs> Look at all this paperwork. I know. Mary, this guy was an attorney. That's his bag. He's a what, an and, attorney? And here's all his documents. I like this. Wow. You want one? No. You don't like cigars? No. Has that been used? No. <laughs> <laughs> but 
you had to double check it. <laughs> no, I looked before. We're going to sell those tables. Well, I thought they were matchy mo, but I mean, they're the same style. We can get $75 for yeah. both of We got some books. Let's see. Oh, Ghost. I love that. Oh. That's the best musical. Okay, while you're doing that, the you world gotta start is. putting it in trash bags, Bo. Pop it in there. Okay? The magic carpet. Oh my god, get me the goods now. Are you at the good stuff yet? Yes! <laughs> Oh! What? Don't break it. I'm not, but it's... Oh! Oh, oh my God, Mom. Look at this. No wonder it was so heavy. Some sort of pressing thing. You know what this is for? <laughs> to get through leather. Because it's so hard. Right. This is worth this is... a lot of money. I love it. Mo, I want to take this somewhere. We did somewhat of a dent. <laughs> Mo, let's look at this tape. <laughs> okay. Um, look at this on the sides of it, Mo. You see this ornateness? It's a reproduction. It's not new. But it has value. Four hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Let's take a look at that desk. Let's clear oh, those yeah. boxes. Trash. Look at this wood that it's crafted with now. Yeah. This is an old desk. It's all mitered. There's no screws, nothing. This is cool. This guy was a classy attorney. This is good furniture. This desk is $2,000. So you got 150 for the two chairs. You got this little side table here, 50 bucks. The letterpress, leather working oh, thing. I forgot that. And you still need to get that looked at. We've made over $2,000. I still got my leather toolkit to check out. And Mo has his toy piano thing. Help might just be on the way. Good eye, Mo. Bubba and I are back at the locker that I like to call the Uptown Country Locker. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Let's move this out. Okay. Damn. Damn! That's not tubing, that's solid bar. It's a nice little bike. That looks like about 75 bucks. Okay. Here's another little bike that's not gonna get you anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Let's move this table. Oh. God dang, we got it wedged in here. Oh, no. Yeah. Going down. All right. That's maple, Buck. Make some good butcher blocks out of it. Pretty good vice on it here, too, Buck. American made, 25 bucks. I could sand these down and cut them there for two foot and get about $100, $125 for each cut. Every board. two? That'd be 100, 200, 300. 400, 500 bucks. Just spent 525 on this locker. Boom! Gonna make it back on the table and buy it by itself. Damn, that's a hell of a piece of glass. So, table, how many chairs we got? Six. What do you think? Three? Four. And then the coffee and table match. Is that table leg? No. Let's look. This unscrews. Big cigar. Ooh. Flashlight. 
This is. Fly rods. Oh, yeah. Catch bait. Orphus. And this is an R.I. Winston Rod Company. This light is like a feather. I've got a couple fly rods. They're nothing like this. This is like the Rolls Royce of fly rods. So what are these worth? 150 a piece, maybe up to 500 a piece. I don't know. You want to get these checked out so we know exactly before we try to sell them and give them away? Exactly. Bidding on lockers is a lot like fishing. With these rods, I'm pretty sure we got a keeper. These tables will bring 300, won't Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. And the treadmill. Treadmill will bring 50 bucks. I'll bring 100 bucks. Will it bring 100? It's electric. OK. What's, what's my exercise bike going to bring? It's 50 bucks, ain't it? Yeah. Knock her out of the ballpark. OK, let's load this up and get on home. I'm meeting Jerry Shaw, and he's the leather worker. Hey! Come in. You must be Mary. Yeah. He is one of the top saddle makers in Texas. This cowboy can tell me what these tools are worth. What do we have here? So this is what I found. This thing lifts up, and then all the drawers are filled with tools and supplies. What you have is a group of leather tools that are designed primarily for the amateur craftsperson. We'll just use a piece of leather that I was working with here. This is a cutting tool. Say if we were going to make a piece of leather, we were going to do a design on it. We can cut flowers, we can cut letters or whatever. Can I try it? Of course you can try. Now all we're doing now is we're making the outline that we're going to decorate with your tools. On a scale of one to ten, what do you think? I'm not going to say what end of the scale we're on <laughs> right now, but you are in the one to ten bracket. Wow. <laughs> okay, here's a beveling tool. How am I doing? Clearly, we're not going to put this in a museum or anything <laughs> like that, so... Okay, this is starting to look like anything but a flower, Mary. <laughs> well, we can always tell people it's an alligator's tail or something <laughs> yeah. like that. But your mother will love it. <laughs> you know, you got a great set of tools here. What do you think? this whole thing is worth if we start adding up the different pieces and the value of each piece yeah. you know maybe we're looking at six hundred dollars that's pretty good Yee-haw! thanks jerry thanks for coming by mary Mary wasn't crazy about this mini piano, but I think it could be something special. So I'm taking it to P. Williams Piano Restoration. You must be Lindsay. I am indeed, and you must be Mo. This is what I called you about. Well, just bring it right on over here. It says Bailey's Midget Piano. What you have here is not actually a piano at all. Oh. It's a toy, because a piano has strings, and this has little metal bars. So this one operates more along the lines of a xylophone. 
It's toy xylophone. Sounds like a bust. And I can see that by moving some of these, it causes the little dancers to move and spin inside mm -hmm. here. That's really cute. Well, these front legs here are cast iron, and the rest of it appears to be solid wood and not veneered. The front, where the gem logo is, is painted to have the appearance of rosewood, but it's not actually rosewood. Of course, it wouldn't be because this is a child's toy. It's in a little bit of a rough condition, as you can see but it is indeed a very collectible piece for number one, the toy enthusiast, number two, the piano enthusiast, and number three, the wackos out there that just like really strange novelty items. And the women are porcelain, yes? Yes, and their faces are all hand painted. Mm -hmm. Do you think everything is original? I don't see any signs of restoration, with the exception, perhaps, of this front pane of glass, which I don't believe to be original because it is of a slightly different shade. You notice that, yeah. Yes. Lindsay really knows her stuff. Now, Let's see if she can tell me how much money I can make. What do you think this would be on a retail basis? You could probably expect in the condition that it's in to see a price tag on it of roughly... $1,800. This is great news. Mayor will be able to use this profit to hire some help. And our team will be back on track again. Ricky and I are to fly fishing shop to see what our rods are worth. Let's hope the fishing's good. Got that rod and that one. All right, you brought some uh, some good stuff today. They're both two really well-established companies. Orvis is a big name in the business. R.L. Winston is a great rod maker out of Montana. One of the best in the business as well. All right. This here, this Orvis rod is a pretty small little rod for little creeks. Small flies. What are you fishing for with that? Mostly trout. Small and light means good. Yeah. It looks good so far. How much is that worth? I would say... Eight hundred bucks. Nice. nice. So far. That'll work. Good rod. Reeling it in, baby. More money. Yeah. Hopefully this one's Good. worth more. This is one of our best-selling brands, and this is their cream oh, of the crop. Oh, I like this even better. So you can tell from the finish out here that Orvis had a sticker, but that's handwritten there. It's in great shape. For this one, 800 as well. Like an old fisherman once said, Good things come to those who wade. So, you give lessons? Yeah, you bet. I need a lesson. Okay. First one to get in the hoop wins. I don't think I have enough line for it to get in. Oh. Over there. The more you try to aim at the oh, target. Oh, okay. There you go, it's in. Bingo! I think Bubba would start plumb to death if he had to fish for his dinner. Oh, my Lord. Watch this right there. You going to put it right up in the... Boom! Finally, after 700 throws. <laughs> the big winners in Waxahachie were Moe and Mary, 
whose leather tools and xylophone played a sweet tune of $4,600. Ricky and Bubba reeled in $2,500 with their fly rods. Jenny's sweet talking only soured the competition and got her shut out. While Victor Rizhninsky is still a big loser. What are you doing? I'm staying loose. You look like Lance Armstrong if he was almost gonna die. I got it. Yeah. You're gonna win the Tour de France. The Tour de France? How about the Tour de Texas? You won't win the Tour to the end of this aisle. Go! Go, go, go. Woo! <laughs> now that's a machine there, but... Oh.